What is up, PokeRest Army? We are back, back for another Deck Tech Tuesday. Sorry for missing last week, I had some things going on, but we're back for another deck profile. This week we're going over another Vegito deck. So this was given to me by the same person that gave me the other Vegito deck. Pretty, pretty like, um, he's pretty, like, this is, Vegito's his favorite leader, pretty much. Him and Vegeta, like, he, this is what this guy makes these decks around, and he, he does really well with his locals and stuff like that, so I figured I'd, I'd check this deck out. So, if you guys did, don't know Vegito's effect, all of your Sun Gokus and Vegitas get um, red, blue, and green in your mana area. All, uh, also, if they're another color, they also keep that color, but they also get red, blue, and green. So hypothetically, if they ever did come out with a yellow Goku, wink, wink, next set, if it counts as a Goku, Sun Goku, then it will have, it'll be a four color card. It'll be a four color mana, which is absolutely insane. That pretty much unlocks all your manas, mana colors on turn one. Um, that's pretty exciting, but more into it, um, if you, uh, little one, mills a card, and if it's a Goku, it gets, uh, Goku or Vegeta, it, it gets powerful, and the big one just does the big th bigger things. Bigger, badder, big, better things. So, using this, we're, we're running most of the, we're mostly running most of the same engine. Now, this is considered a mono, I guess I should do it, mono blue deck. There's actually, there's actually seven red cards, but the active part of it is you don't want all of those red cards you really don't want to charge them mana. two if you do charge them to mana it only turns off like two cards in the deck and if you if you curve the if you curve your turns correctly the one card is like it, it's just like hey it goes off because you are mono blue and then you can charge stuff so we'll go we'll go into it as we as we continue so for our gokus because we're running we're running these big guys we're running two Lightspeed Vegito, which are red cards. We're running one Burst, Bursting Energy, three Repeated Attacking Vegitos, and we're running two of the brand new Super Saiyan Blue Vegitos from the Expansion Pack, and we're running one Big God 10 guy. So a lot of Vegitos. This deck is literally to spam Vegitos on the board. Um, you're gonna go ham, so what you do, the, the rest of the deck better be Goku's and Vegeta's, you're saying. And you're right. So, you're running four of the Kind Saiyan Sun Goku. This is this allows you to search the top ten, seven cards of your deck for a uh, blue Sun Goku and add it to your hand again. This guy makes all your Goku's blue in every area, including off the top of your deck. You're running one, two, three, four of the Bundle of Curiosity Gokus. Uh, when it comes into play, you draw a card. Pretty standard. Um, you're running this over Boo because obviously it's a Goku. Um, you're running one, two, three, four of the brand new Comrade Combined Sun Goku. Now, when this card is, uh, when, when you play this card, look at the top seven cards of your deck, choose one blue Vegeta amongst them with three costs or less, and put it into play in rest mode. Then place the remaining cards on the bo uh, on the bottom of your deck in any order. So this allows you to grab a Vegeta. Kind of, if, if you have enough mana, to, it allows you to go off. If you don't have enough mana, it sets you up to it sets you up because you're going to play the combo. You're playing combo Gohan. I'm pretty sure. No, you're playing combo Vegeta. Uh, you're playing combo Vegeta to try to keep your Go Goku's and Vegeta's alive, so you can go into your mass stack of Vegeta cards. If you get one of these off, it like you're you're aiming to get one of these off. You're not aiming to get all of them off. If you can get one or more off, you're in a good position. We're also running this guy, which this guy just whew, just shot up in price because of the new uh, Ultra Instinct Goku. This is gonna be a prime, prime, prime target for that. But also, this this is nice. It evolves off any of your Gokus once they're effects. Like it's it's beautiful off of this, uh, this or this, just because it gets rid of those low guys so your opponent can't eat them with Goten, and it turns it into a nice nice Evo. Like, it's pretty strong as critical, all that kind of stuff. You know the drill. Okay. Next, we're also running three of these guys. Um, this is just to blow up board. You need a lot of destruct because the Vegitos themselves, um, the new one? No. One of them has destruction. I'm not, I'm not exactly 100% sure which one because I'm not used to all these Vegitos. But I know one of them has destruction, but this just adds more destruction to the deck and this blows up some of those things that you need to on board when you need to. Um, it doesn't get the triple strike, which is a little bit of a sad thing, but it's okay. 
it's it's a nice turn six Goku. You can evolve it off of one of your little guys again to avoid issues with uh, Goten and all that kind of stuff. Um, or it's just a nice Goku. Okay, next for the Vegeta line, we're running one, two, three, four, full power Vegeta. Um, we're running. This is your combo piece. I can't wait until they give these guys their own terminology name, like they gave the one ten thousands the super combos. So these are your one ten, one ten combo pieces that get summoned to the board after you use them because your leader is red. Um. Your next Vegeta's are three of the combined comrades. Now, this is the card that I was saying gets turned off if you charge one of those red cards, uh, because or again, all of even even like this, that's a blue card in your mana because of your leader. All it requires you is to have it blue. It can be any, it can be another color as well, but as long as everything is at least blue, you're good to go. Ah, uh, then yeah, it gets a minus turn. It gets a minus entry cost, so it's it's a turn to twenty. Thousand. That's absolutely insane. So if you just even if you just charge a Goku and a Vegeta first round, like your your blue that's turned to twenty thousand, your opponent can't handle that because twenty thousand leads to thirty thousand. And like I've said in previous videos, thirty thousand the easier you can get to thirty thousand, and the harder it is for your opponent to get to thirty thousand is where victories come from. You make them waste cards in hand, even if if even like they're either not going to block it, take huge damage, and you've only wasted like one card in hand, or they block it. They waste three cards in hand because that's that's how math works, and like you're just in the good position. Thirty thousand is that key number. I, I can't I can't stress it enough. Um, so this is this this card does get turned. Like I said, does get turned off late game if you do charge one of those red cards. But you have so few red cards in the deck that you're not really too worried about it. Next, we have two Furious Hell Vegeta. Again, this deck doesn't have much of a. Um, doesn't have much of a awakening, uh, self-awakening mode. So this is this is how you do it. You self-awaken with this, and um, it's also Vegeta, and it also destroys. So this is your destruction. You're just gonna go ham, and it's beautiful. It's one of the best Vegetas in the game. Next, we're running two of the Prince of Speed, part draw power, part summoning. Um, I could see this going down for maybe a couple of the smaller Vegetas if you have them. But I just, I just, like, I've seen him draw, like, as soon as this hits the board, you draw and do some kind of insane stuff. And then, last but not least for the Vegeta line, is two God Charge of Vegeta. This is your, um, critical dual attack, it's just insane. Um, any, any, any form of Vegeta, I think, needs to run this. Like, it's just absolutely insane. It is a, it is a six cost, but it can be evolved. It can be evolved off of that comrade, that blue comrade one. And, Yeah. It's just absolutely fun. Um, last but not least, we are running four Vados Assistance. Again, these are part of the red cards I mentioned, like these and the Vegitos. These three Vegitos here and these two Vegitos here are the only red cards that don't turn into blue. And none of them are cards you really want to charge. So, and again, that that's saying you, have, you, you charge them before second turn. So it's not even not that big of an issue. Um, so, four about us is because your leader is red, and then this is where things go ham. Um, Zeno button. So this allows you to combo, because a lot of this deck, the, the, the one thing about a lot of this deck is 1 10,000, 1 10,000, 1 10,000, 1 10,000, 1 10,000, 1 1 1 10,000, 1 10,000. 110, So this is your this is pretty much your 110s. This stack right here is your 110,000s versus your 05,000s. So they're about the same, which does scare a lot of people, but if you pull, can pull that surprise Zeno button, boom, they're pretty much all so they're all zero ten thousands. Like it just it just goes insane. Um, this goes in the aggro state. Like um, a lot of a lot of decks have been running lately. It goes in the aggro state where it's not running counters. It's siding counters. It's siding the um, because you're running a lot of blue. You're siding Luis's coercion. Um, you can side. This is this is um, what my group has thought up a little bit. Um, we have, there's a lot of that full power trunks running around. That triple breaker that turns everything into blockers. The red negate is super good super super good against that um even it like even if you just side in two of them 
and you can get it before they get their trunks, um, that basically right there negates two attacks. Because you negate their first attack, you untap one of your cards, and because of the full power of trunks, it has blocker. So, that's absolutely insane. Um, I think it's definitely worth siding. I don't have a full side deck here for this, but those are the cards I definitely uh, suggest siding in. Obviously, as set 2 comes out, this deck is going to get significantly stronger with the new Vegeta cards, the new Goku cards, the new Vegeta cards, all that kind of stuff. We're going to have more deck pro profiles on the channel coming soon. Um, next week, we're doing a Trunks deck, I believe. Um, and we have a couple more decks on the way as the new set rolls out. Um, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited too. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys are hyped for more Dragon Ball Super content, if you guys have any suggestions on anything that you'd like to see about Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Super TCG, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, anything, let me know in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Pokeros out. Peace.